you're not going to get robbed. I'm not too sure what's going on with this guy in the quad bike here, but... Uh, How long have you got left to your break? <laughs> like 10 minutes, but I just really want to go. <laughs> I can't imagine, I can't imagine. <laughs> it's just loving Are life, mate. Services? No, I'm, a, I'm a, on a slip road. I was just... Uh, del- Sean Thompson here and we're going back to another week in the life of the truck Jeezy beeps man, that was a bit of a sudden maneuverability there Anyways, we're currently heading to Grey Line Transport to pick up a Luton van and a minibus for Birmingham and Litchfield Let's get into this week's video Alright, that is us loaded in at Grey Line there um, Again, didn't record but I'll show you the load in just be five seconds here uh, We've got a Luton van up the neck, now the reason it's up the neck is it's coming off second so it wouldn't make any sense to put it down the bottom and then have to take it off to put it back on so it's up the neck, weighing in at 15.8 which is plenty of room um, 15.8 foot by the way, just in case anyone thinks I'm talking metres and then of course the minibus crash damage on the back is going to sunny, sunny Birmingham and the other one's going to Enfield, that's what I was getting at right anyways, we've got Five hours and 28 minutes until our first drop, so uh, let's get into it. The dirty sweet grey line have put two scanny stickers either side of my trailer. <laughs> Alright, so we're about 308 miles into our journey, uh, roughly just about five miles, five miles, five hours of driving time, five hours, five hours 51 to be exact. And we're half an hour away from the offload of the first minibus and then we'll fire on down to Enfield and get the looting off tomorrow morning Aye, good i tell you something, I'm not a fan of this road here on the, the A38 Aston Expressway Three lanes, four lanes, no central reservation Obviously I'm assuming when the traffic is worst I'll open out and then vice versa But I'm not a whole fan of this kind of three way about this, it just feels weird, it feels very European but we are in a clean air operation but Euro 6 so I good people like you don't help when you're cutting up the inside um, but yeah I good it's weird, it's weird like if I was to go out to the third lane now like I'd literally be passing people me doing 50 one way, them doing 50 the other it's as I good alright here we are, sunny Birmingham just a roadside delivery here, we're just delivering up to this industrial estate but I won't get the lorry in so we're just dropping her here nice and easy front end collision but she still runs I'm just going to drop all the ramps and go and drive around the corner into there I get alright that's the van off loading as you can see driving away around the corner nice and easy was a crash damage airbags deploying and they said that was the best thing to do because the yard was just literally right around that corner and if I'd driven down, I'd have got stuck. Aye, good. So quickly whip these ramps up and we'll drive the rest to Enfield and see how far we get before we need to take a nine hour rest because I don't really want to bust a 10 on a Monday. I don't even know if I should roll that looting off the bed. I can't really be bothered. I don't think we're going anywhere with low bridges. So I think she'll be fine for now. I'll probably regret it later. You're not going to get robbed. I'm not too sure what's going on with this guy in the quad bike here, but... Uh... How long have you got left to your break? <laughs> like 10 minutes, but I just really want to go. <laughs> I can't imagine, I can't imagine. <laughs> it's just loving Are life, mate. No, I'm, a, I'm a, on a slip road. I was just uh, dead. Uh, it's not looking good, boys. The M1's a little bit of a parking lot now. <laughs> There's a smart car in front of me. That's how blind spots work. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot he was there. It wasn't until I looked in that mirror up there. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. He is there. Nice one. Jesus Christ, 45 minutes and we're just coming to the end of it, obviously it's four lanes down to one so makes sense as to why it's taking so long but 45 minutes we sat in that for, slowly driving through Alright, we two hours down the road, we've roughly done roughly today, let me just double check if I get my keys back in the truck Today we've done 427 miles, uh, 9 hours, well 8 hours and 55 minutes and uh, we're offloading here tomorrow, so see you all tomorrow. 
All right, so it's half eight the next morning and we're just about to get this transit van off. And we've gone from being busy to busy busy. Checking no one was watching. We now have to pick up a tilt and slide, which was fine, that was always doing. That's only going halfway up the country. And then we've got a moor to go up for down here. We've got a van to go up for Carlisle. And we've got a digger to go up for Leeds Euro auctions. Let's get into it. I honestly can't wait until I've ripped out this tractor bar and this is just the overhang we have all the time, probably even a bit closer. Because it's just so much nicer. Look at all this extra room I get that I wouldn't normally. I know that's not a lot, but if you do this job, it is. <laughs> Alright boys, now we're too busy today, we're fucking too busy. Uh, our boys just phoned me that I priced a job up for yesterday, saying that he's he's okay to go ahead. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool, 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 yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, oh. So either I phone him and say, listen mate, sorry I'm fully booked, or we try and make something work. I'm going to try and make something work. Um, a tilt and slide, a wee truck for up the top, a mower. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, we'll work it out, we'll see what happens. We might be running about like a mad but at least we'll be making cash. Oh boys, we're in the heart of London here. I just hope my DVS has came through because I think we're going into a DVS zone here. This is sunny Bromley. Right, here we are in the back road, an old Ford. We're just getting pulled out of the compound and out. I don't know if it needs me to break. I don't want to go through his pickup truck. That'd be a bit annoying for him, I'm assuming. We win job up. Near the verse. Just causing havoc in a regular petrol station here. But we're loaded. That was a bloody bastard to get out. <laughs> Three shots that took me. No camera. But we're out. That was uh, that was a, bit a bit sketchy. Uh, there's an app on my phone called eRoot. That's what I use for finding most of the fuel locations. That is one of the first times that it's uh, that it's me and put me into a car place. It said trucks accepted. Trucks were not accepted. Well, not ones that are maybe 80 meters long. Oh boys, against all odds, we made it to class. And they're letting us load. And obviously we've got a nice big bit of space here. Plenty of room for a wee more. I'm being greedy this week. Very, very greedy. It's gonna end up biting me in the arse. Alright, my measuring was on point that time. Thank you very much class for letting us load that because that saved my life. Now I need to climb down this little bit and tidy up on my ties. And hopefully not fall off the edge. Right, good. Boys, I'm so happy we got loaded eh? So bloody happy we got loaded. Fold up the neck there. Moa, recovery wagon. Lovely. What a, what a load, boys. Don't know how I'm getting the mower off, but that's a problem for tomorrow. All right, a wee pit stop for the old diesel. We gave her a wee bit of tyre straight in here while we're waiting. It's just, she looks nice, eh? She looks nice. It's all nice and moist now. Mm -mm -mm. The only problem is with tyre shine, it makes this be black mark now. Aye, good. Alright, here we are, parked up in a wee industrial estate. It is literally just down this road here, right where that green uh, truck's just sticking out of the corner, but we can't get parked, because then there'll be two lorries parked to your side. Um, there's nobody in it either, and... Oh, no. There we go, nice and quiet. As you can see, once I switch this off, Lovely and quiet, that's what I want. And this boy will get by, no bother. Hopefully, and then we're not making a problem to anybody. All right, it's Wednesday morning, we've just woke up. I forgot my knife. Driving plain bagels. Let's get off-loaded. All right, we're just starting the offload effort now. The boys managed to get us a load of a handler. It's going well. Now she's gone off. Beautiful. Oh, what a piece of machinery. <laughs> anyway, 
Lovely. That's really nice and rude in here. <laughs> Inches. That's him, away he goes. Right, now it's to our turn to fix this load and close it all up and all that jazz. There we go, all reloaded, more up the front. That's obviously for Galston. And then we'll take this off and then reload a van. But thank you very much, Gareth, for letting us. Sorry, let me miss that again. Thank you very much, Gareth, at Highways Transport and Nationwide Vehicle Transport for letting me use his for sorting out a handler and getting that sorted because that was a lifesaver. Anyways, Carlisle, here we come. Oh, boys, it came, it came up on my sat nav there as a seven minute delay. We're now sitting at a 34 minute delay. There you go, on the sat nav there. I don't know if you can see that, but aye, what a, it's a slow stop start process. Well, so far, I've been sat here for 30 minutes, I believe now. We're meant to get there at 2, we're now getting there at 2.42, so so far it's cost us 42 minutes worth of time. Um, there's no traffic coming down at this side of the road, which is worrying, and we're, yeah, I've literally been sat in the same spot, not moved. It was start-stop for a while, but that is it officially stopped. Everyone's got engines off, like, listen, the M6 isn't meant to be that quiet. So there's something big ahead, unfortunately. Direction is not available. Sorry, my hands are absolutely mock it. Direction is not available at this time because of current road conditions. I like it. All right, so what I can find out on Google Maps here is a crash. That's not that far ahead, obviously, to be honest. But it's in 36 minutes of delays. Hope everyone's all right. All right, traffic started on this side now. Um, we have been sat here for a total of, I'll well, put it this way, if anyone's watching The Gentleman, I started this episode in traffic and the episodes are about an hour long. So I've been sat here probably just best part of an hour now. Aye good, aye good. Oh boys, we're moving! Jesus, Lord Christ, an hour and 30 minutes that just cost us there. We sat in the M6 for an hour and 30 minutes. Alright, oh, we're at the side of the road here in Morecambe and uh, I was a wee bit lazy when I was loading this this morning. I should have pushed this further uh, into the cab because obviously that's a wee two foot there. It would have been very handy. Um, I just underestimated it. Well, I not underestimated it. I, uh, I made a mistake. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a van to pick up in uh, Morecambe. And stupid me thought that was near Carlisle. It's, uh, it's near Lancaster. So obviously the plan was to tip that in Carlisle and then go pick up the van in Morecambe. But there is an hour difference, which is 68 miles. So if you imagine that 68 miles I'd have to drive by Morecambe and 68 miles I'd have to come back. So about 140 miles all in, give or take. That was very silly on my behalf. So we're gonna have to try and sort this out and make room for it on here. Cause there's no way I'm doing 120 miles of dead mileage that does not need to be done. Also look at the state this pickup made in my, it's really annoying me. But aye, we're gonna rejig it. We'll get a couple of inches. It's just a small van, it's just a wee cat. Well, it's a carry sized van and then uh, aye. We'll see what we can uh, see what we can sort. Something I'm hoping. A wee gap there, and then obviously we've got this gap here. So I reckon we'll be able to make something happen with a couple of clicks. All right, now unfortunately this poor wee Ford does not have reverse. So what we've done is we've slammed the air down. Obviously the tag is up, and as you can see, it's touching the ground. So we've slammed the air down on the unit, as you can obviously see there, and then we've raised the truck up as much as we can with its own suspension and hopefully we have also parked on a downhill hopefully should just roll into that gap bingo bango bongo bish bash bosh no reverse no winch because obviously the mower so we're using the power of the extender and of course a couple of straps a wee bit of timber as the brake, I did. All right, now we're getting close to the point we want to be at. We've put the suspension up in the unit so that it's nice and high. And then we've also put the suspension down in the trailer 
so that it's now running at an angle that way where we do the last final adjustments because we want it rolling away from us rather than towards us when we're trying to be like because we don't have anyone to jump on the brakes you know what i mean it kind of makes it a wee bit difficult as you can see where this uh, chalk is is uh, the last couple of inches we want to get so the only way to do that is by taking the wood out and doing the final adjustments with the ratchet strap you can see that every click i do slowly brings it backwards and it's rolling downhill so it's not going to go any more than that it's just going to rock for one at once and then it'll keep the strain on the ratchet and not roll away there we go a wee bunch up and hopefully we can fit a little carry van on there I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I messed up with the mower. Eh? The mower was longer than I expected. Anyways. And there she is, all fitted on. Nice wee gap. I was a wee bit short on the ramps here though. It should be okay with that. Um, I just misjudged it by a foot or two, and as you can see. That means the ramps don't go up, but I'd say that's okay. Some in the comments may disagree, you're probably right. But well, what's my choices? Just stopped her at TB there for a wee 45 minute break, and of course, a pie. Anyways, we've got an hour to Lancaster to go to drop. Oh, that's backwards, Sean, that's not forwards. We've got an hour to Lancaster, uh, Carlisle, sorry, uh, to tip the Ford, um, or the big Ford, and then uh, fire on up to Scotland. I just underestimated the mower. I should have just asked for length, really, and I could have probably solved this whole thing by not taking on as much, but here we are. We're in it now. There's not much we can do. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.